This is the Ibadan Film Festival and this class is a class on production design and I tagged it the production designer, the world builder. So I'm going to start with the definition of production design and I'm not going to give you a textbook definition. I'm going to give you a definition based on my experience. You know, the production designer is the architect of the film world. And if you know what an architect is, you would know that the, the architect is responsible for the process of conceiving a, the idea of a building, working out a presentation in terms of the design, design drawings and all that, you know, and then presenting it to a client. So, and it, it doesn't stop at just the structure for the architect. It goes beyond the structure, the landscape, you know, and how that should guide individuals who use that structure. Okay, so the production designer is the person responsible for conceiving the world of the film or the television. You know, there's somewhere I read that um, a world can exist without a story, but a story cannot exist without a world. Okay, and the person responsible for creating that world is the production designer. I want to say the world is whatever you see. Okay, and that whatever you see goes beyond just the space. Okay, it's how the characters are portrayed in terms of the costumes, the props that they interact with, and the elements in the space. So the aim of the production designer is to immediately put you in the world that that story is written around okay and in order to do this there's several things that a production designer must do okay um just by on the side i mean the history of production design why is when did production design begin you know uh there was a film it was called gone with the wind okay and gone with the wind was made in 1939 it's an american film all right and prior to that time uh the role of the person responsible for creating the look and the feel of any film and television the role was art directing prior to that time you had the art director who was the head of the art department okay but on that film the scale of the film and the complexity of the film was so much that um, the producer realized that it, w it wasn't enough to describe this person as just the art director. And that was where the term production design was coined. So right now, produ the production designer is the head of the art department. And the art department encompasses set construction, set dressing, wardrobe, costume design, props design, which is prop making, you know, prop buying and whatnot, makeup, special effects makeup and hair. And in some cases, VFX works under the art department, but it gets a bit tricky. So VFX is both a post-production responsibility, but it must take instructions from the production designer in terms of what they need to do. So all these make up the art department okay and now according to the hierarchy you would have the production designer and then you have the art director and then you would have all the different hot's now the production designer he or she discusses with the executive producer the producer and the director depending on the nature of the production and comes up with a plan you know a concept for the entire world comes up with with spaces designs for the spaces which is which are called sets you know comes up with the color palette okay which is the general color three theme throughout the production and then comes up with the concept of the design for for characters and whatnot so i worked on a short film a production design a short film um, the other one was my art director. Um, one of the short films I worked on was called Closed. Okay, and Closed had to do with 
adult literacy. And so in order to create that world, what it was was he, the main character, could not read and he didn't understand how to read. So his world was made up of complex texts. So every, every way you saw writing, you would see complex texts that we couldn't understand, the viewers couldn't understand. So it's one of the things production design does, is to help to guide the minds of the viewers as well, okay? Sometimes production design will give you the point of view of the characters in the story. Sometimes production design will act as a third party in the story, okay? So in this closed, production design helped to make the viewers see things from the point of view of the main character, who is the boy who was not literate, okay? And so every time, so just picture being in this room and then instead of seeing Ibadan International Film Festival, you just see lines and patterns and all that. So what we had to do was make sure that we replaced, you know, every text and signage and all those things with those patterns and lines and all that. And then when he started to learn, those things changed back to real alphabets, okay? So that story world, you know, production design aided in creating a world of, first of all, lack of understanding, darkness on the part of the, of the lead character. And then production design now helped to show the viewers, because obviously once you see that you, you can now read everything, it's just like the guy's situation. So he's been uplifted, he's changed, he's evolved, you know, so it's very, straightforward one of the things production design does is tell you when which means the time period of the story it tells you where which means the location you know and sometimes it tells you why so in this case at the end of the day you realize why you were seeing those texts in that way okay now the art director who works under the production designer is the design manager. So he or she does more of the administrative work, you know, liaising with all the other heads of departments, um, dealing with the budget as well, dealing with the vendors, ensuring that everybody works according to a schedule, works within the budget of, of the production and gets everybody going, you know. So he or she, is directly involved in executing the the vision and the concept of the production design so it, depending on the size and the scale of the production you could have one production designer and several art directors or you could have one production designer and one art director okay it the the nature of the production you know determines how best to crew up so to speak so i'm sure a lot of you would have heard of game of thrones okay there was one production designer her name is deborah riley and then there were several art directors and this was because they shot across several continents so obviously she couldn't be everywhere at the same time however she was responsible for ensuring that the vision was kept and replicated throughout the entire show. It didn't matter where you went, to, whether you were in Greece shooting, or you were in Finland, or you were, you had to conform with the vision that had been created by the production designer. And then the different art directors in the different locations, you know, handle the execution of those things. So the art director must be a creative as well. He, he or she must, must think like a leader, and must be able to conceive because the only way you would really understand and appreciate and key into the vision is if you've you know experienced it in that way i would say that the best production designers should have been art directors first okay and then evolved into production design 
Okay. Why do we think America is so perfect, so beautiful? We think that, you know, there are no potholes in America. The police stations are like five-star hotels. You know, the guys on the streets, they're like angels that fell from heaven and stuff like that. You know, perception, that's what it is. Perception is what put us in the place where we believe that America is perfect. Okay. And what ensured that that was possible, as far as I am concerned, is production design. Okay. Because all their films were production designed and they were done to create that perception. Okay. So now we know with the advent of social media and your phones that not all police stations look as pristine and beautiful as they are. However, in the films, we see that they're so beautiful, so orderly, you know, the colors are so, they work so well and all that. That's the job of the production designer, to create a perception. And over the years, the more you see these, you know, perceptions created, the more you believe. Okay, and that's what has happened. And Ameri the American government has invested greatly in films and all that. Even in the case of, um, you know, there was a period where war films were a trend in America. Rambo, Commando, and stuff like that. And what did it do? It also created the perception of the superiority of the American military. But that also was production design, okay? The best uniforms, the best gear, you know, the best accessories, the weapons and things like that. These were all the work of the production designer, okay? And why am I saying this? I'm not saying this to judge, but I'm saying that this is one of the reasons why production design is so essential. Now, production design can also help. You know, in the old days, you know, our fathers told us stories and, and you know, and that's how knowledge was passed down. Another thing production design can do is keep knowledge. My name is Uche Wohiri and I'm a production designer, but I also function sometimes as an art director. The Ibadan Film Festival, you know, for me it's a great opportunity to reach out to more people, you know, who are interested in filmmaking. It's an opportunity to educate more people um, in order to guide them in the right path in terms of how they how they would operate their work ethics you know codes of conduct and things like that so that we will you know in some way guarantee um, more quality we will tell our own stories you know in the way that they should be told you know so it's a it's a platform that has huge potential you know and you know, I'm really, I'm really blessed to have been given the opportunity to, you know, speak to people who are interested in coming into the, the industry. So on behalf of the International Film Festival team and everybody and all the filmmakers in Ibadan, all the people that you've, you've taught today, we want to say thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Silva, no go. We have. have you, how do you say yeah. that? Hey, <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless.